How the hell am I going to pay the rent now? I got to find a way to make some cash. God damn it, Phil. What'd you do that for? You're such a grudge holder. A couple of pieces are out of place. I don't have a job anymore. Good morning. Good for you. Aloha. What could I pawn so I can get enough money for rent? I kind of need a lot of cash. What have you got? Well... This is a genuine subway pass. It allows you to travel freely around the city. Are you serious? Of course I am. I don't need that. This is an extendable duck hanger. I made it myself. Is it wooden? I have a lot of stainless steel hangers, made by yours truly. Some pages from the 1972 Wonder Comics official catalog, including some pictures of Super Hot Chick in her classic little outfits, and with very few oil and tuna stains. Uh, I don't think those are worth anything in that condition. this awesome police officer figure? Uh, it's not as if it's Captain Red or anything. This great fake leather wallet that doesn't smell like wet dog? Yeah, I can smell it from here. Not interested. That ring, though. Hey, hold it. I don't remember giving you permission to sniff around my inventory. Easy, kid. It kind of comes with the territory. Well... That ring isn't exactly mine. I just wouldn't feel comfortable selling it because, you know, it... Let me get this straight. That's the only thing you have that's actually worth something, and you don't want to sell it? Well, I mean, it's just that it, it, it's... You know... I think I'd better keep it. I, I know it's none of my business, but don't you think that guy might be a criminal? I hope so. Don't you think he might be the kind of guy that, you know, could steal something? I guess. But he's my best supplier. Now, I just found this in my grandma's old basement. It's of great sentimental value. Wow, that basement's a gold mine. I already have one of them, but I'll give you a nice wad for it. See? I love that guy. Okay, so, I don't think I have any more business here, then. Thanks, anyway. Oh, wait, kid, don't just walk out like that. Why don't you have a good look around your place? Maybe you have some useless junk I might be interested in. It does seem like you really need the money. Finally, it seems like I'm getting better at making faces. I think I know where I can find some junk you might like. I'll check it out. Damn it! Old Marconi's still here. I'll have to find a way to sneak past him.
Sure, sure. I understand. Excuse me, sir. What exactly do you mean when you tell me to jump up my own ass? Mm, he hung up. Hey, what's up, buddy? I'm Randall. Um, hello, Randall. What's with the long face? Are you laughing at me? <laughs> of course. Have you seen you? Well, I'm a Wondermatic product salesman. And I'm having, like, the worst day. That's why I'm so bummed. Are you happy now? Now and always. So, no sales at all? Just my watch to pay my electric bill. Well, that watch belonged to my grandfather, who was shot down over Hanoi. And then Captain Coons had to shove it up his ass. Yeah, 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 tragic. Let's talk about puppies. I love puppies. Yeah. My little Susie has been begging me for a puppy for months now. And I don't really know what to tell her. I can't even pay the mortgage anymore. Okay, suddenly talking about puppies is getting me down. And I refuse to talk about ponies. So, what is your problem exactly? The problem is that I'm the worst salesman Wondermatic Industries has ever had. It's been two months already since I made my last sale. I can't even sell the cheapest, most basic products. I'm such a loser. Oh, come on, man. Don't be like that. You know what you should do? You should shit or get off the pot. But what you shouldn't do is just sit around there all day complaining about how miserable you are. It's not that simple, you know? If only I could find some rich loser and sell him the complete deluxe set, the problems would be over. At least for a while. If you're looking for some chump with money, my landlord's a real bonehead, and word is he's sitting on piles of cash. Are you serious? Yeah, although they say that Morlocks are plotting a large-scale offensive, so don't take that as gospel. But is your landlord the gullible type? Well, I own three months' rent, and he still hasn't kicked me out. But I believe there are some father-son issues there, so I really don't know what to say. Sounds like a shot. My last chance, maybe. Could you give me his number? I don't mind giving it to you, but I warn you, the guy's a cranky old bastard. You can tell that even his hairy shoulders are angry when you talk to him. I don't care. I just gotta try. Well, it's your funeral. It's 555-1013. Oh, and uh, don't call him when there's a full moon. They say that he gets a little out of hand. I'm calling him right now. Hello. Good morning, sir. Do you have a minute? I would like to talk to you about the advantages of our wonderful... Get a real job, scumbag. I failed again. I don't know what I was thinking. Here, let me try. Are you serious? I'm always serious. Except when I find guys I can take advantage of. Then I just can't help lying. I don't really know how to take that. Oh, come on. Give me the phone. You got nothing to lose. Well, that's true enough. Here, do whatever you want. Showtime. Hello? Are you still there in the hall waiting for me? Hicks, is that you? Yep. Hick speaking. I sneaked out of the apartment and I still ain't got your money. How do you like that? Is that so? Well, I know somebody who's sleeping in the street tonight. Comprende? Oh, come on, Mr. Marconi. I was hoping you'd forgiven me by now. I mean, I'm appealing to your sense of common decency. But then, maybe now I'm figuring that you don't really have any, based on how you dress. You goddamn bastard. Do you think this is funny, Hicks? Well, good luck finding a roof over your head tonight. I could say the same about your pot belly. In fact, I just did. Do you really think that attitude is going to get you anywhere in life? Huh? You disgust me, Hicks. You disgust me. You're nothing but a repulsive worm who crawls along the bottom looking for people to annoy. You never worry about the things that really matter. I'm done with all your crap. 
You really pushing my buttons here. You hear me? I'm gonna kick your butt so hard that I'm... Okay, look, he just started talking about kicking my ass. He'll be on that for a while now, so here. I, uh... Just talk to him a little. It's not that hard. Uh-huh. I understand. Uh-huh. I understand. Sure. The world would be a much better place if scum like you would just disappear. You must... Never thought I'd find a use for this crap. Really? And if I get the... Wonderful. Of course. Thank you for your kindness, sir. It was a real pleasure doing business with you. And don't worry, you won't regret going for the three-pack deal. No, no. Thank you. Have a nice day, sir. Bye-bye. I love it when a plan comes together. Did you see that? I sold him the basic set, the deluxe set, and even the classic set. I can't believe he fell for it. The last one is completely useless. Let's celebrate. Maybe some other day, buddy. I got things to do. I mean, more important things. At least let me give you something. I couldn't have done this without you. I've always got time for free stuff. Although, is it poison? Because it wouldn't be the first time someone's offered me poison. And if it is, I uh, don't want it. No, it's not poison. Who do you think I am? Here. I hope this comes in handy. Well, thanks, man. I'll see you around. There you go. Here are some rare, authentic pieces from the exclusive world of urban subculture. Legend says they're bathed in a mysterious aura. Let's take a look at this pile of garbage. This is the trophy I won after beating a guy, whose name was 8-Ball by the way, in a pool game in Wisconsin. Oh, that was a tough one, let me tell you. It was without a doubt the most extreme experience I've ever had. Like a chess game that lasts for days. And believe me when I say that when we were done, we both got banned from Massachusetts for life. You said the game was in Wisconsin. It started in Wisconsin, but we ended up in Massachusetts. Just imagine the competitive skills that would require. There were betrayals, firearms, a high-speed ride on a train without brakes, and in the dying seconds of the game, we had to defuse a bomb on the pool table. It was definitely something to remember, all right? Okay, man. But if you don't have any paperwork to back up your little story, then that's just a common eight ball. Can I offer you a once-in-a-lifetime deal on this one-of-a-kind lava lamp? The lava is from Krakatoa and Vesuvius. Shake it, not stirred. Sorry, I already have nine of those. Ever heard of Skelextric? Unless that piece of track belonged to Lewis and Clark, don't even bother. It sure did. Exploring is a taxing job. They used to play with it to break up the monotony. Me? Wrong. Scalextric wasn't even discovered until 1846 in those ancient Aztec ruins. Keep trying, kid. This console is as good as new. Advanced North Korean technology. Very educational, but if you make a mistake, it shocks you. Careful, though. All the questions are in Korean. First time I played, I was like the Indian in Cuckoo's Nest for three days. But believe me, those shocks really liven you up in the morning. 
better than coffee, I'd say. If I need something to help me lighten up in the morning, I drink Mercury Cola. Is that it? Don't you have an ace up your sleeve? Uh, did I mention with this pass you can ride around the whole city for free? <sighs> I'm sorry, but the only thing you have that's worth anything is that ring. Couldn't you give me something for the lava lamp? I guess I could give you something. And what about for the Korean consul? Maybe a little? Maybe. Then problem solved. Some money plus a little money equals a respectable sum of money, right? That is true, kid. But consider this for a second. You said you needed a lot of money. And I can give you more than a lot of money for that ring. Are you telling me I've just been wasting my time with all this crap? See? You just said it's all crap. Now the ball is pretty much in your court. You decide. Damn it, Hicks! I want my goddamn money, and I want it now! Uh, that's too much. I, I, I can't sell the ring. What about Matt? He'd be devastated. He'll never know, idiot! He doesn't even know you stole it in the first place. No, it doesn't feel right. Listen to me, pal. You better sell that freaking ring and pay me already, or I swear to Lucifer, I'll turn your life into a daily hell. Come on, man. Don't let yourself be taken in by him. You know you can't do that to me. Even you have your limits. Shut that trap, you sissy! The grown-ups are talking, and if you dare to come between me and my money, I will piss your ass like a goddamn meatball! Oh, heavens! That bastard has a pitchfork, and all they gave me was this harp. I demand a flaming sword! Come on, come on, there's no need to fight about it. I will impale you and slowly roast you on a simmering heat, you filthy maggot! Fucking hell! This motherfucker is serious! Randall, sell the fucking ring already. It's no big deal. It only cost me a Dorito. Give that damn bastard his fucking money and let's put a stop to this shit already. Then I'll do it. Are you one of those guys that whenever they have to make an important decision, they see little angels and demons? Bingo. And I'm gonna do what the angel said. I'm selling the ring. That same thing happens to me since I started drinking Mercury Cola. But I don't see angels, just demons. Creatures from hell that tell me to hurt people and to burn things. But don't worry, man. I'll learn to ignore them. Let's get back to business, shall we? I'm sure glad you wisened up, kid. You have the ring? Here, and you can keep the box, too. Well, thank you. You know, it's weird. I don't know what's so special about this ring. I have no idea of its real value. But I'd be willing to pay an obscene amount of cash for it. Well then, go ahead. What's stopping you? Here you go. Wow! Any time, man! If I ever find another one, I'll know where to come. There is no other, kid. There is no other. Well, uh, I'm not sure if you're in the middle of some kind of mercury cola-induced hallucination right now. So I'm just gonna take off with my wad of cash and, uh, you know, I guess I'll see you around. Okay. I was having a normal day going on lousy, and out of the blue, Lady Luck just pops out of nowhere and French kisses me and feels me up. Who shall I go slap with this wad of bills first? Marconi? Emerson? My kindergarten teacher who told me I'll never amount to anything? This is Donald Trump speaking. I'm off to a private party in Mr. Hefner's place, so please, make it quick. Sally, what's wrong? Randall, it's Matt, Matt, oh my god. Sally, come on, you're scaring me, what's going on? You need to come to Matt's place right now. But, 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 but what happened? I, um, did uh, someone steal his wallet or, you know, something? Randall, I don't want to tell you this on the phone. But what's wrong with Matt? I, uh, what did he do? Matt is, oh my god, I need you here right away. What? Sally, d d don't hang up on me like that. God damn it. I have to go to Matt's place and find out what's going on. 
even if it ends up being really disappointing like 3D movies. Good morning. How's business, sir? Well, I'm hanging in there. Looks like it's picking up a bit. Oh, good for you. Do you have any idea what happened here? No, but who cares? It's always the same story. Robberies, shootings, big syrup time bombs. Dude, what the hell are you talking about? What a giant marshmallow man. Those are my favorite sagas, the one you just mentioned. You're all right. You're cool. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on. Don't make me put a piece of orange peel between my teeth and hunt you down until you confess all your sins. <laughs> okay, I admit it. I'm crazy about good movies that are at least 15 years old. Are there any other kind? I know, right? Okay. Given that you haven't asked me yet, I'll just go for it. Can I have a hot dog with extra everything, please? Thank you. I'd love to, but I'm afraid that's impossible. I ran out of gas, and I need a new cylinder to cook on. Why don't you just get another one? I wish I could, but I can't take my eyes off that Vina gobbling cop. He's single-handedly putting my kid through college. I see, but, uh, you know what? How are you going to sell him something if you don't have anything to sell? Ah, uh, you don't get it, boy. That cop there is coveted by every bastard in the hot dog vendor guild. If I lower my god for even a second, Abe Froman, the sausage king from Chicago, is liable to swoop in and steal him away. All right, well, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't just standing there with no goods to sell really bad for business? Uh, you know, when you put it like that, it does sell pretty bad. Uh... uh... I think you need to get a new cylinder ASAP. Believe me, I can hear Murray's guts rumbling from here. Hey, wait a second. Did Froman send you? He's trying to edge me out of my monopoly on that Pac-Man-like hot dog gobbler, isn't he? Well, over my dead body. No, no way. Who do you think I am? I'm an honest guy. Come on, give me a break. Hey. I tell you what I'm gonna give you, snakes. I'm gonna give you to the town of ten to get your ugly, yellow, no-good keister off my property before I pump your guts full of lead. Wait. One, two, ten. What a classic. Keep the change, you filthy animal. Well, given your movie preferences, I think I'll just say, we came, we saw, we kicked its ass. Well said, my friend. Now I know I can trust you. I would have also accepted he slimed me. Okay, so now we're friends. Can I have a hot dog, please? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I still have that little gas problem. But now that we are friends, I can trust you with the mission of getting me a new gas cylinder. It's a dangerous quest, steeped in mystery. Oh, so now that we're friends, I can do your dirty work for you. I get it. Exactly. Just tell me where to go. Let's get this done already. God. Have you heard of Mel's Pawn Shop? Sure, good old Mel. Now I see what you meant by a dangerous quest. But hey, why the hell do you buy your gas in a pawn shop anyway? Well, Mel has good prices. And he offers a quick, efficient, and personal service. Oh, I got you now. Stolen gas, eh? Yeah, probably. Okay, no problem. I just made a deal with him a little while ago. Just give me a minute.
Uh, first I should show him the receipt. Um, excuse me, Mel. Can I talk to you for a second? I'm with a customer right now. I'll be with you in a minute. That's okay, I just wanted to, uh... He just told you to wait a minute. Don't make him tell you again, or I'll tell you again. Whoa, that, that won't be necessary. Then can you give me that deal with the riffs? Sure, right on time and at a very good price. In fact, I think I should get going if I want to make it. What time is it? I don't know. But relax, man. You still have plenty of time. What about the competition? Is everything under control? The turn bolts, the Let's talk to and Mel the I don't want to down. And I don't think the lazies are going to be a problem. Nah, he's not gonna listen to me till he's done with that guy.